Hello and welcome to News Now, reaching you from our studio in Lagos to commercial hub of the nation. Many thanks for joining me. I am Margaret Sopara and here are the news in details. The Comptroller General of the Customs Strike Force team on Wednesday said he has intercepted 564 bales of textiles, materials falsely declared as machinery, foreign paboard rice, footwear, and foreign bags worth 895 million naira. Speaking while unveiling the seizure, the co-coordinator of CGC Strike Force Zone A, Deputy Comptroller Amadu Shaibu, said it was also raised a debit note and falsely declared cargoes worth 490 million naira. According to the coordinator, the unit generated a 1.42 billion naira in the note and anti-smuggling activities. Given a breakdown of the seizure, the coordinator said other items seized include 1,252 bags of smuggled foreign rice, 564 bales of falsely declared Ankara materials, 637 bales of footwear, and 30,256 prices of foreign bags. And on the foreign scene, Spanish Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez was in quarantine earlier today after meeting with French President Emmanuel Macron, who tested positive for COVID-19, his office has announced. Sanchez will be tested without delay for the virus and will respect the quarantine until December 24th, which will be 10 days since he met with Macron in Paris, his office said in a statement. Now, Macron tested positive for COVID-19 on Thursday. The French president said, that adding that he would now self-isolate for the next week. While the Nigerian politics and understate member of the House of Representatives, Tachuddin Adefiyoshi, has defected from the Social Democratic Party to join the All Progressive Congress. Speaker of the House, Femi Bajabia Mila, read Adefi Oshis letter on the faction during plenary on Wednesday. In the letter, Adefi Oshis said in part, and I quote, My decision to quit the SDP was informed by the irreconcilable leadership crisis within the party, the protracted leadership crisis, and manifested in the plethora of ongoing court cases as well as multiple factions of the party that have surfaced the national level and the Ondo state chapter of the party, end of quote. Minority leader Nunudi Elumelu, who raised the point of order, noted that Adefi Yoshe was not in the chamber as Bachabia Mila read the letter. And away from that, the Lagos state government has asked public and private schools in the states to vacate on Friday. This was contained in a statement earlier today titled, Lagos state government directs schools to vacate on Friday, December 18, 2020. In the statement, the Director General Office of Education Quality Assurance, Ministry of Education, Mrs. Abiola Seriki Ayeni, said the 2020-2021 first-term academic session for public and private schools comes to an end on Friday, 18th of December, 2020. And the entertainment star Ian McKellen has become the latest celebrity to be photographed receiving the COVID-19 vaccine. The 81-year-old star of the X-Men and Lord of the Rings film said he felt euphoric to be vaccinated at Queen Mary's University Hospital in London, BBC reports. Healthcare workers, the elderly and people living in care homes are among the first to receive the vaccine in the UK. And that's it on News Now on iBrand TV. For more news stories, visit our website, follow all our social media handles, like, leave a comment for us on the comment section. I am Margaret Opera. Thanks for watching.